Well, the night event program at Clubman Angle on Saturday night will be highlighted by the running of the Group 3 Ranji Bill. The race features the likes of Wainui Creek, the Honey Queen, Ferry Tinkerbell, and also last up winner BK Spy with the two McCarthy runners, the Honey Queen and Ferry Tinkerbell, resuming back here in New South Wales after successful Queensland campaigns. And what a wonderful mare she was, Ranji Bill, only pocket sized, big motor, a real crowd pleaser on the famous Glebe circuit, ended up having a bar named after her. Specials on the card in the opening event, I'm going with Tuppence, formerly with Jeb Webster, now with Darren Binskin. Had no luck last start when he drew wide, Darren went to go forward, caught deep, went back to a six peg roll over the concluding stages. Tuppence had no luck whatsoever in finishing a ten and a half metre eighth behind just a little bit. From gate one, DJ will be able to make his own luck with Tuppence, although Plenty of respect must be played to Defiant, which is also drawn well, but I think Tuppence is worth the gamble. Over to race three, Braveview Kelly, very impressive mare from New Zealand, scored impressively first up from a spell and also for new trainer Jack Trainer a couple of weeks ago. She looks a very progressive type, this talented four-year-old mare. Only 38 starts, but she's got a very nice record. She's up in grade, but from the good draw, she does look the one to beat. Well, over to race seven and number seven, Bundoran, only six rivals. I think that's a big plus as far as the Bathurst visitor is concerned. Has now had four starts since the Miracle Mile appearance in March. Each friend has been creditable without being to the standard of a Miracle Mile, but I caught the eye last time out, Bundoran. I think he's just about ready to win, as I mentioned. I think a small field will suit. Amanda will just be able to drop back and allow Bundoran to have a nice relaxed run before exploding down the Menangle Strait. Now looking at Melton on Saturday night in race four. Can't go past Honolulu Bay. Very impressive winning first up from a spell. He's just an outstanding type with a big future, Honolulu Bay. He'll be winning better class races. Well, over the race six, Jess Tubbs has a former Kiwi in Gilligan's Island. Two starts for Jess. Both have been very solid performance. The last start win led throughout on that particular occasion. I think Greg Sugars will again be looking to dictate the terms with Gilligan's Island in race six. They're my specials for Clubman Angle on Saturday night. Also, Milton, until next time around, good punning.